You know, I was watching this video that was talking about all of these investors who are millionaires and they never made that much money. They made like 40,000 a year or they made um, maybe $60,000 a year. And this is the thing, I've been running a lot of investment projections. Uh, there's an investment calculator on the internet. There's actually quite a few of them. And what I'll do is I'll take uh, how much money. Now, essentially, to get to a million dollars a year, a million dollars net worth with um, investments, you would need like $450, $500 invested per month with a 7 to 8% return. And that's going to get you to a million dollars in about 25 years. And I keep seeing this stuff, all these guys who've only been investing 10, maybe 15 years. Because essentially, if you don't believe me, and I'll be talking about this some more, it's not being, it's the time in the market that is really, really important. Like, let's say you invested 100,000 a year. You, your money would make money, but around the 18, 20, 25 year mark is when your money, your interest earned outperforms your contributions. So if you were investing 100K a year and for 10 years, your contributions will be more money than you made from interest. And this is one of the things that is cracking me up because I keep seeing all of these stories of like, uh, this guy is a millionaire, he has a job, and he's like 30 something. Um, on Savage Finance, check out the video um, where I'm talking about this guy, you know, how the average person doesn't become wealthy in real estate. And this guy's investing $5,000 per month, $60,000 a year, and he's been doing it for a while, and his portfolio is only 450,000. And the guy is 35, so let's go ahead and say he invests 60,000 a year for the next, um, until he's 40. So that's 300,000 at $5,000 per month, okay? That is um, 300,000 on top of the, um, 450 at $5,000 per month, it still ain't a million. It still ain't a million. Even with interest and upside, let's see, he has 450, he contributes another 300, that's gonna give him 750, he'll be 40 years old. And here's someone who makes $280,000 a year. And he's putting $5,000 a year away and he still doesn't have a million dollar portfolio. And I keep hearing all of these folks who make substantially less money, substantially less money who are quote millionaires and the math doesn't add up. It just doesn't add up. So I feel that something has happened. Maybe they had a parent or someone that died they gave them a large lump sum or something because essentially if you were to take a hundred dollars per month because actually i just told someone this she's 22 and that's a look you know you need to open up an index fund now and contribute a hundred bucks a month because it is the time in the market that is so important so if you do this now and by the time you're 45 45 you should have half a million or $700,000 because you're getting started early. So I don't know the backstories, 
but I do know the math. The average 60 year old has a brokerage account worth 210,000. And this is someone who's been in the market for a few decades. So uh, the, while we're having this conversation, I'm having this conversation because I saw a video that was like, you know, starting a business, uh, most people who start a business fail. Um, you're gonna be better off being an investor, right? But I am not seeing the numbers that bear that out. I am seeing there, there are investors with million dollars. There are investors with multi-million dollar portfolios, but their numbers are small. This isn't like the average investor. The average investor has a net worth of about 210,000. That's average. And you wanna know why? Because they don't make that much money. See, like this guy, it's over at Savage Finance. Uh, the video is like the myth that real estate, you know, people get wealthy with real estate. The reality is, if you're going to do real estate, you're going to buy a piece of real estate and you're going to rent it out and you're going to finance it, you're looking at 25 to 30 years before you get wealthy with that real estate. So during the time frame that you're holding that real estate, and you're renting it out, you're slowly getting wealthy. However, the number of people who can buy enough properties where that works out, because this guy in the middle for real, it's a business that's generating all of this. It's not the real estate, it's not the brokerage account, it's the business income. This is what's generating this. And this is one of the things that people, like right now everyone's like, wants to be an investor, put some money, like, all right. I have another video on Savage Finance. Your income is a lever. This guy, the reason that he's able to buy these multiple properties and able to invest $5,000 per month into his brokerage accounts it's because he has a business. If he had a job, he would not have 10 rentals. If he had a job, he would not have 450,000 in his brokerage accounts. Wouldn't be happening. And essentially, as I do my research, certain things are shaping up. Because when you get to these people with these million dollars like, don't take my word for it, do the research. Go to all of these brokerage houses and information's on Google and look at the number of multi a million dollars, just million, not multi-million, million dollar brokerage accounts. And let's see, I think, um, what is it? Fidelity has something like 30 million accounts and only 150,000 out of those 30 million are million dollar accounts. Because essentially, let's be clear, people with million dollar brokerage accounts do exist. My argument is it is not as easy, it is not as common as people make it seem because I guarantee you, I can assemble a room of 100 random people and maybe one to three would have a million dollar brokerage account, if that many, if that many. It ain't that, it's, it's kind of rare. It's not the norm, because I was seeing this video and it was just talking. Now, let, let's go ahead and have this conversation. Let's see that you're financially educated very early in your life, like a Christian Guzman. You can check out Christian Guzman here on YouTube. I don't think Christian is 30 years old and he's a millionaire because he owns a gym. He has an apparel brand. He has a, a energy drink and some other businesses, businesses, not investments, not brokerage accounts, businesses. And this young man is a multimillionaire from businesses. Okay. Christian Guzman. You can check out Christian Guzman. You could check out Max Chewing. 
You could check out Shawnee Coakley. All these guys run in the same circle. All of them are rich because of businesses, not investments. Now, let's go ahead and say you're young. Let's say you're 22. You went to college. You didn't have any college debt. You got out of college. And let's say you picked a good field where you come out of school making $110,000 a year, okay? Now, if you were to start investing $10,000, um, let's see, let's say 20% of your income, which would be $25,000 a year. Within four years, and you'll be 26, you would have a six-figure portfolio. So if you were investing $25,000 per year, that comes up to $2,000 per month. And if you were doing that, um, matter of fact, hold on a second, okay? So let's go ahead and uh, all right. So. Let's go to the investment calculator. Because see, this, this is where, so let's say you start off with 2,000 a month and we're gonna go 20 years, okay? And you get a, the average, oh yeah, this is something else too. The average return from the stock market has been less, it's between four and 7%, like six point something percent for the last 20 years. You could Google this. So let's go ahead and give you 7%. And we're going to do 2000. And we're gonna calculate that. So, if you come at the age of 22 and you put 2,000, uh, it's not going to focus. It's not going to focus. But for 20 years, all right, you start this at 22 and you're putting $2,000 a, a month away for 20 years with an average return of 7%, that gives you a million dollars. How many people are starting off with a $110,000 salary at the age of 22? There are some, you have some people who are engineers, you have some people who are attorneys, but the average person ain't, it's not gonna start off with that. So that's what you need to get to a seven figure portfolio in your 40s if you start at 22. Now let's go ahead and let's do this at a thousand bucks. I'm going somewhere with this. So we do a thousand bucks and we do thousand bucks. So, thousand bucks, thousand dollars a month, twelve thousand a year, will get you five hundred and ten. It's not gonna focus. Five hundred and ten, five hundred and eleven thousand dollars. That's a thousand dollars per month. So even if you were investing a thousand dollars per month for 20 years, you're still not gonna have a seven figure portfolio with the average performance of the stock market. I'm hearing people, I got 14%, I got you 20%. Now an average is an average of the highs and the lows. So this year you might get 14%. Next year you might get 3%. 
So that's an average. So where I'm going with this is unless you start off with a very high income, you're not going to get a seven figure portfolio because you simply don't have the money. You just don't have the money. So let me say, uh, what is the, how much does the average person invest per month? How much does the average person invest each month? Let's go to that. Let's see what that is. Most average planners advise 10%, 50% of your annual income. So the average person, all right, it's like $250,000, $250 a month. So let's go ahead and go to the average person and we go 250 to 50 over 45 years. We're gonna stretch it out and they're putting 250 a month in and this is someone who's 20 years old who invests 250 a month until they're 65. All right, so if you invested 250 a month for 45 years with a 7% return, you will have 889,000. Now, what did I tell you that the average 60 year old has a brokerage account of 210,000? Most people simply don't have the money to invest enough money to get to that million dollar portfolio. So one of the things that I'm trying to show you is now let's go ahead and do some more math. Let's say you started an eBay business. Okay. And you kept your job and you made $375 a week from your eBay business, which is not that hard. You don't have to be a genius. You don't have to be incredibly smart. So you can start an eBay business, okay? 375 per week. You don't have to be a, a business genius or none of that. This is something, and you can learn how to do this for free on the internet. All right, so there's no investment. And this is a business you can start literally with 200, maybe 500 bucks, okay? So you make 1,500 bucks per month. $18,000 per year. All right? So let's say you did that. Let's say you did that eBay business for 20 years. So we got to go to a different calculator on that. So you, you made 18,000 per year times 20. That's $360,000. So if you started a small eBay business and kept it small, never really expanded it, never pushed yourself, and you did that for 20 years, you have earned more money than the average 60-year-old who's been investing in the stock market for 40-some years. So, oh. I think that everyone needs to have a business and there's many different levels of business. You could start a service business. You could, you know, and let's have this conversation. I have paid my dues. I have been, 
I've had a resale business of new of used office furniture. I sold new office furniture. I had a robust eBay business. I was in the storage auctions. You're not going to get to my level without taking that path. And a lot of you is like, he's talking about starting a service business, but he don't have a service business. I don't need a service business. I am trying to help you. That's the goal. I'm trying to help you out. And here's the thing. Based upon your intellectual vigor, your ability, your work ethic, uh, a, a service business or a small eBay business will make a, a huge difference in your life. It will make a huge difference in your life versus investing or buying Bitcoin. I've done the research. Less than 1.5% of the westernized world, which is the United States, Canada, Europe, Japan, Korea, Australia, owns Bitcoin, owns any cryptocurrency. And when you go to the full population reach of 7.5 billion, less than a percent of people own cryptocurrency. So there's not going to be this massive adaptation of cryptocurrency. It's going to be decades off before that happens. So this whole notion, let me go ahead and tell you why everyone is pushing you to invest in cryptocurrency. Anyone who holds cryptocurrency wants more people to come to the cryptocurrency market. Why? Because more people buy, that pushes up the price of cryptocurrency. It is not about helping you, it's about helping themselves. So taking this event, <clears throat> this example that I gave you, you could go ahead, <clears throat> start a business for two, 300 bucks and make more money in actual spendable cash than you could investing in the stock market and investing in cryptocurrency for the average person. So let's talk about the non-average person. Let's talk about all of the people who are doing fire. Okay, our rich journey achieved fire in eight years. So I, I actually, they had to be putting away close to $200,000 a year to do that. Think about that. They were investing not $2,000 per month. They were investing close to 15 to $20,000 per month. And I guarantee you, if you look on the investment calculator, you will see that the money, the interest that was earned on their money did not outstrip the contributions. And you know, since they've got a good chunk of money, at some point, the interest will outstrip the contributions, but when, because I've I run the model this way. So if you take, let's see, if you take 200K, right? Let's see, we're gonna start this starting amount at, we're gonna, let's see, 25,000 per month, okay? And we're gonna go eight years, and we're going to do 20, 25,000 per month. So $25,000 per month in eight years with a 7% return is gonna be 3.2 million. However, your contributions will be 2.4 and your interest earned would be 793. So you have put in literally three times more money than your money has made you. And let's go ahead and go down to 20. Cause see, you know, everyone's talking this stuff, but who's done the numbers? Who, who has done the numbers? 
Who has gone out and crunched the numbers? So I said for them to get to where they did, they were putting away about 20. So 20,000 per month gives you 2.5 million and interest earned is 634. And that's kind of where they are. So you're not going to get one of these million dollar portfolios unless you have a high income or you started like at age 15. See, this is what the, a lot of people are just lying to you because they keep running these theoretical models that you can get all of this money by investing. But once again, when you sit back and you crunch the numbers, it doesn't add up because I'm like, I'm here someone who's 40 years old, who's a millionaire. I just told you for someone to be 40 years old and to get a million dollar portfolio, they're going to need to be investing $5,000 per month. The average American doesn't make $5,000 per month. Let that resonate. So if you're like 20, let's see. Because I'm giving you the numbers. So let's say this guy Terrence that I did the expose on, he is 35. And let's say he's been investing for 12 years. Getting that 7%, 5,000. So, so he hasn't been investing 5,000 for 12 years. Let's go ahead and say he's been doing it for eight years. He hasn't been doing it for eight years. So this dude has been doing this for, let's say, So he's been investing the 5,000 for five years. So he just started his investment journey. He's 35. So let's say he was investing before the five years and he just got up to the 5,000. Let's say he's been investing seven years. So he's been investing a lot of money for seven years and he doesn't have a million dollar portfolio. And this guy makes $280,000 per year. And he's investing $5,000 per month and he still doesn't have a million dollar portfolio. So how in the hell someone making 40K is gonna have a million dollar portfolio? These people are lying to you. You wanna know why they're lying to you? The more people that get in the stock market, the more people that buy stock, it pushes their stock price up. They're telling you this stuff not to help you. It is purely selfish. Because essentially, what's gonna happen, because like, I'm just giving you the numbers, crunching the numbers. So when I hear that someone is 40 years old and a millionaire and they have a million dollar brokerage, uh, I wanna see the numbers, because that meant that they were putting away a lot of money per month. 20, 30, 40, 50 thousand dollars a year. And there are people who are, who are doing that, but they're not making 40 thousand dollars a year. Let's go ahead. Like you were making 40 thousand a year, which comes out to um, 3,600 per month. 36, yeah, comes out to 36, 3,400 dollars per month, minus taxes. Um, that's going to give you like 2,500 per month. So let's say, um, unless you're living with your mama, you cannot invest a thousand dollars a month, make it 40 K unless you're living with your mama, unless you, I mean, you would literally have to live like a monk, not have any bills not have any credit card payments, have no student loan payments, 
at $40,000 to invest $1,000 a month. And I've already shown you, let's see, let's do it again. So let's say you start $1,000 a month Seven percent, and let's say, like you're 40 years old, you start at let's say 18 years, 18 years, and an annual yield of seven percent, 424,000. 18 years at a thousand bucks per month. 18 years, and you still don't have a million dollar portfolio based upon historical performance of the stock market. They are lying to you. My thesis, that if you were to start a small business, a small eBay business, a small service business, kept your job, you would be in a better financial position than investing. Because essentially, if you're in income danger zone number one, making less than $50,000 a year, you do not have the financial firepower to invest rigorously enough to build a million dollar portfolio in 25 years. Let's go ahead and take this thousand bucks and go 25 years. Where, what is that gonna get you? Um, 25, 7% yield. This is historical yield of the stock market. 25 years, 1,000 a month, gets you 788. Let me, let me go ahead and say this again. 25 years. So let's say you started investing at 25, which most people don't. You start investing at 25, okay? Five years, 30, another 20 years, 50 years old. Now, if you invested $1,000 a month, let's go ahead and go for 35. You did that for 35 years. $1.7 million. So for you to get a million dollar portfolio, investing $1,000 per month, you gotta do 30 years. So if you started at 25 and you invest it until 55, you'll be there. Thousand bucks a month. 42% of the country makes $18,000 a year or less. Over half the country makes less than $30,000. Where is this money coming to be investing in these projects to get to these net worths? I want someone to actually show me because like I've been doing the research I've been crunching the numbers, and a lot of these people in the personal finance sector are full of crap. Because if you sit down and you crunch the numbers, because it all starts with income. It all starts with income, which is where I am. You need to dramatically increase your income. This is where I'm at. This is what I'm telling you have to do. And then, you need to have your long-term emergency fund, your short-term emergency fund, family operating account, get out of debt, don't have any car payments. And at this point, well, let's go ahead back to my original thesis. Let's say you started your eBay business for 500 bucks and you made 18,000 your first year. And let's say you and your wife Sally, your name is Jim. Your wife makes 30, you make 30, you make 60,000. You add this 18,000, you have increased your income 30%. So now you're at 78. And you took two years to clean up all of your bad habits, got out of debt, got your long-term emergency fund, but also you pushed and you grew your business. So first year you made 18,000, so it's not really that hard to go from 18,000 to 25,000. 
So you go to 25,000 your second year. And at your third year, <coughs> your third year, you go to 30,000. Now your third year, you're at 90 something thousand dollars. Now, what you can do, since you now have your long-term emergency fund, short-term emergency fund, you don't have any debt. Now you can invest that 30,000 into the stock market, which is 2,500 bucks per month. So let's say you're 30 years old when you get to this, this point and you're investing 2,500. 2,500 and you do that for 30 years with a 7% return. So now you're at $2.9 million in 30 years. So you start this at 30, so you got a portfolio of $2.9 million at the age of 60. Now, what would you do with this additional money? Because essentially you're gonna keep pushing on your business. The 25,000, the 2,500 is to invest. And let's say your eBay business got to $10,000 per month. You're investing 2,500. You got like 5,000 to live your life. So you're living well, you're investing well, and you're preparing for your future and you're able to have fun in the here and now. Go ahead, check me on this. Research me on this, crunch the numbers and see what you come up with. Starting a small business is the best thing that you can do for yourself, regardless of what people like. There, there's a lot of people out here who think you're idiots. You're not an idiot, you could do this. You could do this. <clears throat> you don't have to enroll in my art of holding. There's enough free information here on YouTube to get you started with your eBay business, your Etsy business, uh, small service business, and make way more money while keeping your job. So that's all I got for you guys this morning. We'll see you in the next one.